Thank you, Angela Rose, and pay for this incredible honor. It is a privilege to be here among my fellow survivors and to receive this priceless award. We have all fought so hard to change the world and it has been an honor to be part of this movement. But tonight, this award means so much more to me on a personal level. It's been almost six years since I stopped living in shame. And for those of you who may not understand, shame is different from guilt. Guilt is when you, you feel bad for something you did wrong. Shame is when you feel like you are wrong. I remember standing on a baseball diamond feeling unworthy of coaching my son's little league team, feeling like I was not good enough to teach these little guys the fundamentals of a sport that I love. I felt like my son would be better off without me, that he would be better off without his father. That's what sexual violence does. It robs you of the truth. But speaking out about my experience, it changed everything for me. It was incredibly hard, especially as a male survivor. I lost so much. I lost my agents, I lost my managers. I even lost one of my best friends. I couldn't get hired. And it almost ended my marriage. But with time and the help that I needed, I stepped into the light. I learned that trauma is a time traveler, but most of all, I learned that shame cannot live in the light. I now have true intimacy in my life. I have a happy marriage. I have two beautiful children, and I am working in ways I never thought possible. Shame is the universal thread that keeps all survivors from thriving. So tonight, I'm going to wave this award like a magic wand that will remove the shame from the soul of every survivor watching. It is time for you to shine and become the writer of your own story so that you can be the truest expression of what God intended you to be. Thank you, Pave. Thank you to my fellow survivors who have supported me, my loving family, my wife who has been my rock, and most of all, Thank God for giving me a second chance in this beautiful thing called life.